Hi to all, welcome to this new tutorial on IXQ410 release 2.2. .2. I would like to show a few modeling tools available from this version, very useful to make uh, complex membranes in a very very easy way. So, as you can see I have made a CAD layer and uh, in the CAD tools I'm just going to draw a box by corners and I will input relative 25 10 meters so this is the size of my box 25 meters by 10 meters and 12 meters is the height of this box let's change the color for this one so it's uh, more easy to see I want to cover this space and we will use now this option auto UGS active so auto UGS mode is active so I will start drawing an urge screw as you can see as soon as I uh, move my mouse over the faces these are highlighted so I would want to start drawing over this face here and I draw the profile the profile of a curve. So we have just made the profile over this face. I will do this again. Groups curve. Drawing on the top face. Like that. And I will take off a piece of that surface. and I will take off a piece of this one so we see we have made this uh, complex shape you can, you can also do a game from the bottom if you want I want to make it curved like this and take off this, this part here let's say this is my walk away and I want to cover it with a tensile. Of course I could use this surface here but I don't want this. I want to make another kind of shape so we will draw now uh, an arch start end and on on this face from this point here to this point here Be aware that now I am keeping the control key down. Without the control key, nothing will be generated. And we have created this arch. We will now use the tool Sweep on Rails. Select the two rail curves. This curve here, this curve here. The profile is this arch and so we have created this surface. This surface will be the base of my uh, membrane. Of course I want to split it in a number of arches, so the arches that will support my membrane. For this reason we will use the tool create points by distance. I want them each uh, 4 meters. Select this curve and click on input. So we can find now that we find these dots here at 4 meters each. We have a surface, we have these control points. I would like to split my surface in a number of panels so I will use the tool drop curve extract and drop the parametric curve this one here again at this point again at this point here Yeah. 
So we have made these uh, these three faces. This will be the base. This surface will be the base of my tensile structure. So we will use again the tool explode this shape here. Let's make a new layer and call it membrane. We activate the membrane layer and create a tensor group. So the first tensor group we want to make the mesh for this surface here. So we go back in the FEM tools, tessellate surface. I will use a quite big mesh, one meter. So we have this, the mesh for that surface. A new tensor group. Mesh again. New one, mesh again, so one tensor group basically for each patch we want to have. That's it. We can hide the cut layer. You can see that all these meshes are upside down. So we just select them and flip them like that. This mesh is uh, not so bad. If we have the remesher, we can recall the remesher tool and set 0.5. 0.5 to have a nicer mesh and that's our new mesh on this uh, tent side of course we have no edges we need the boundary beams so we start from the first tensor group and we use the tool detect boundary a small angle we are able to detect all the edges of this one and apply we do the same for the second group boundary apply we do the same for the third one and apply And the last one. Bye. Let's select all the boundary elements like this, and we set them to beam elements, linear, stiff deformable. Uh, sorry, I'm not interested in the struct behavior fix it and whatever it is cable 16 let's find the duplicates and we delete them so we are ready save this model we are nearly ready the last thing we have to do is to set the properties for the membrane so contain this one and wire width mapping we set the wire as the x z plane the wire as the x z plane and this again the material save the project and we are ready for form finding so we can act on the form finder we need only one one step for this kind of models and that's it
So we have covered this space with the membrane. Thanks for watching.